What's up you guys, it's your boy Joe and I'm back with a video on nunchucks again, what else? And today I'll be going over a drill that you can go over at home while you're cooped up in your house, while you're just wanting to get better at your nunchucks. And this is a beginner's drill, so without further ado, let's get into the drill. So basically we're going to start out with a um, figure 8, and basically what a figure 8 is, it's two circles on either side of your body so it would be one circle over here and then you'd slash over one circle over here that's what it looks like from the front one circle 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 so basically in essence what you're doing is just connecting two circles on either side of your body so how you do that is what you want to do is be spinning it uh, away from you and how you connect them is as this is coming up like this, you would slash over to this side, like so. So it's on this side, you're spinning, you're spinning, you're spinning, and you connect it, slash over to the side. And then you're gonna wanna spin it over here, and you're gonna wanna get comfortable about spinning it on this side of your body too. So in essence, it's just two circles, and you're just continually slashing over, slashing over, and slashing over like this. I'll show you what it looks like from the side. Slash, 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 slash. Like this. Other side, it just looks like this. Slash, 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 slash. And at first, it's not going to be that controlled. You're not going to have your circles that small. So it's okay to use big arm motions like so. I would actually recommend using bigger arm, arm motions at first. So just remember, it's just two circles on either side of your body. And then you're just connecting them like so. Just slash, slashing over, slashing over. And that is the basic figure eight. And it's really a foundation for a lot of the other tricks in nunchuck. So I would say drill that, get it down, Get it, I'm not going to say perfect, because you're not going to get it perfect, but get it darn close to perfect. And the next one we will be going over is the over-the-shoulder pass, which is, in essence, just this. There's different ways you can do it. The traditional way that you usually see it is just over, and then once over then over like that so this is basically the, the traditional way that you'll see it being done so but the way I really learned it and drilled it is I add an extra circle into it That's simply because I'm not really a spinner for um, the combat side. I'm a spinner for more of the theatrical side, making things look pretty and really entertaining you guys. So you can do it either way, either just the once over like that, or you can add the circle into it like this. So basically this is a really, really basic move that you should really get down. It's good for transitions, for switching from hand to hand. Uh, sometimes it can get a little, a little vanilla if you're just using one hand the whole time. It's kind of, kind of boring a little bit, I would say. But basically, what you want to do is you're going to want to have it down like this. You're going to swing it up towards the sky and over your shoulder like that. So let's practice that for a little while. that up towards the sky over your shoulder and then just have it hang in the back like this something that hang in the back and then once you're comfortable with this motion you go around and put your hand that you're catching with it under your armpit like so so it's gonna go like this swing it up catch it with this hand up catch it with this hand up 
catch it with the sand. Like that. And you're really going to want to get your timing down because your timing is not going to be good at first. You're going to maybe hit your fingertips. You're going to hit your ribs. You're going to ding your elbow up. So just be wary about that. And just remember, it's all about the timing. So you want to time it perfectly as to where when this travels under your armpit, that's when you're closing your hand. If you close it too late, it's not going to catch it. And if you close it too early, you're going to hit your knuckles and it's going to it's going to really not be a fun time for you. But the over the shoulder, it's a really basic move. And it's, yeah, like I said, it's basically just you're flinging over your shoulder and grabbing it under your armpit like so. And I'll show you the transition point. So really all you're doing when you grab it is you're gonna cross over and slash up towards your other shoulder like so and then grab it under here like this it's really that simple it's really easy to do and that will be the second part of the drill so you're gonna slash up and slash over like so and you can just do the infinitely and you just grab it with this hand and do the same thing slash it up over the shoulder grab it with this hand and that will be the second part of our drill. Third part, we're gonna get into something called a rip. Basically what a rip is, is you're just grabbing it like this, and then you're gonna spin it like that and throw it over your hand, and it's gonna make one, one rotation over your hand. And you're gonna catch it with your other hand. That's basically all, ri all a rip is, is you're grabbing it with one hand, you're flinging the string so it rolls over this hand, like so, you're gonna let go with this hand, Grab it with this one, and then keep the momentum going so your other hand can grab it. Like this. And that's all the rip is. It's not that hard. It can be kind of hard at first. You're gonna wanna um, learn where the bounce point is, where uh, the chuck's gonna, where the string's gonna roll over your hand, and you're gonna wanna learn your timing again. Timing is a big thing. So uh, demonstrate again. All you're gonna do is grab this hand. One's gonna be an underhand grip. One's gonna be an overhand grip. So you're gonna take the one that's in the underhand grip and fling your hand up towards the sky and then bring it down on the chuck. And then you're gonna be reversed. Then you're gonna do the same thing on this side, up, then down. Up, then down, like that. And that is a basic rip. With that, there is a move called the infinite wrist roll. Basically, you're just letting the chuck roll over your hand infinitely and you can go forever and ever. And all this is, is you're going to grab your chuck, fling the string over the back of your hand like that. You're going to keep the momentum going, let this one go, grab this one, and then you're going to be in the back grip again. And so that sets you up to go infinitely. So you're going to want to do that again, fling it over your hand like that, let go, and grab the other chuck. Over your hand, let go, grab the other chuck. Over your hand, let go, grab the other jump. It's gonna look like this. And then we're just gonna put all those moves together into one easy drill that you can practice for however long you want to. It can be 10 minutes, it can be five minutes, whatever you have. Just remember to practice this drill every day and I will assure you that you will get great at your chucks. So here's the drill.
and that's gonna be the easy drill that you guys can just drill whenever you want and I promise you you will see yourself improve so much over time if you use that drill every single day I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you check out my other videos I have about nunchucks I have beginners guide to nunchucks I have a whole bunch of other videos on my channel about nunchucks I'll have them pop up on the screen right here so I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will catch you guys in the next